Hi, I'm Spencer Dale, Chief Economist of BP, and welcome to another episode of Energy Illustrated. If you're joining us for the first time, here's what we do. In each episode, I briefly outline a key issue from the world of energy, while Samang and Callum illustrate the key points to help bring them to life. Today's topic, natural gas. Natural gas provides almost a quarter of all the world's energy today, and its share is set to increase in the future as the world transitions to a low-carbon energy system. Renewable energy, led by wind and solar, is likely to be the fastest growing source of energy over the next 20 years. But it's unlikely to provide all the energy the world needs to continue to grow and prosper. Natural gas provides an ideal complement to the rapid growth in renewable energy. In one BP scenario, renewables and natural gas together provide around 85% of the entire increase in primary energy out to 2040. That's 85% of new energy, either clean or cleaner. The increasingly important role that natural gas is set to play over the next 20 years is supported by two factors in particular. The first is the rapid expansion of liquefied natural gas, LNG, in which gas is cooled to very low temperatures, turning it into a liquid which allows it to be transported around the world in a similar way to oil. LNG exports have increased by nearly 30% over the past three years alone and are likely to more than double by 2040. What's really special about LNG is its ability to be transported anywhere in the world, responding to different demand and supply conditions in a way in which pipeline gas can't. As a result, LNG is dramatically changing the dynamics of global gas markets developing a globally integrated market, just like we have for oil, in which natural gas prices around the world move increasingly in unison. In doing so, LNG is greatly increasing both the availability and affordability of gas in different parts of the world, with China and other fast-growing Asian economies emerging as the dominant markets. The second factor helping to underpin the long-term strength of natural gas is the important role it can play in tackling climate and environmental problems. Importantly, natural gas is far less carbon intensive than coal, producing around half the amount of carbon emissions of coal when used to generate electricity. As such, alongside rapid growth in renewable energy, switching coal for natural gas can play a significant role in decarbonising the power sector. Indeed, If the world replaced all the coal used to generate power today with natural gas, that could reduce annual CO2 emissions by as much as 5 gigatons. That's a lot. That's roughly equivalent to removing all the CO2 produced each year by the USA. Switching coal for natural gas can also play a key role in improving local air quality. The most striking example of this recently has been in China, where the government has driven a huge switch from coal to natural gas in industry and buildings to improve air quality in major towns and cities. As a result, Chinese gas consumption has increased by more than a third in just two years. An amazing change as China battles to regain its blue skies. One element of natural gas that can detract from its environmental benefits are leakages of methane, a particularly potent greenhouse gas Improving the measurement and prevention of methane leakages is an important focus for the natural gas industry, with a number of major oil and gas companies, including BP, setting very strict targets limiting methane emissions. Further out, as we move to a world of net zero carbon emissions, natural gas can continue to play an important role in providing the energy the world needs. This, in part, is by using natural gas together with CCUS, carbon capture use and storage in the power sector, where the flexibility of gas can support the increasing role of renewable energy. So that's the outlook for natural gas, a future supported by global gas markets becoming increasingly integrated, improving affordability and availability, and by the important role that natural gas can play in tackling climate and air quality issues. Oh, guys, you really nailed it. Great job. Thank you. I like the way you sort of brought out how LNG is leading to this globally integrated gas market and also the role that gas can play in reducing carbon emissions and improving air quality. Really nice. We'll be back soon to illustrate another key topic from the world of energy. Thanks for watching.